the artistic director of a company called Nightlife Theatre. And connected to Nightlife Theatre is a, a kind of a, a development wing that we have called Kindling. And we set it up last year um, with a show, and our first show that we took to the Edinburgh Festival with it was called Vertigo. Um, and we, we set it up because we come from Cambridge, and Cambridge is absolutely filled with these incredible, talented, amazing, potential artists all over the place. Young people who have got these amazing ideas, who look at the Edinburgh Festival and get really scared about the idea of going to the Fringe, and the idea of fundraising, and the idea of creating work. Um, off their own backs. My name is Finn Morell and I'm 17 years old. I'm Michael Faulkner, I'm 18. We're two young performers uh, who are working on our first professional production to be performed at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. We are working in association with a company called Kindling from Cambridge. And they specialise in working with emerging artists like us who are making their first break in theatre. Uh, it's a roughly 40 minute devised piece, uh, kind of about the competition that we face in this world as young people. To be better, to get the best grades at school and college, to come out with a piece of paper that says they've got 14 A's and they'll go to university and get the best job. So whenever I personally say to someone that I'm devising a show with a friend of mine or that I want to be an actor, um, all I ever hear is that it's a really difficult thing to get into, that people rarely ever make it, that the margin of success is so small. Um, but I think, and Finn agrees, do you agree? Uh, of course. That that goes for everything. That goes for even as low as primary school, school placements, getting into the first choice of school, to secondary school, to college, to university, to work, going for a, for a girl, going on a date with a girl that your friend really, really likes and finds very attractive and gets very jealous about. I mean, these are just examples. We're not dancers. We do it because we love throwing each other about. We've never had any dance training, dancing lessons, but physicality and movement in theatre is something that really, really inspires us and interests us, so we're going to do our best to find movement that best suits us. Um, so we've, we've had a few rehearsals, we've played around a little bit, and I think we've found um, some ideas. I'm working full time at HMV, trying to earn as much money as I can and put it aside for this show. Finn. I'm at college, I've got a few months to finish, but I've got a part-time job and I'm trying my best to bring up the money to pay for obviously the costs of Edinburgh, but I don't mind. We've been friends for seven or eight years, we met at this little theatre company, uh, we've been friends ever since, we've been close for all these years. We've never had the opportunity to be just two people on stage and just enjoy ourselves and enjoy the dynamic that we have as friends. And we've finally been given this opportunity, we've been given rehearsal space, we've been given a brilliant director who's helped us for, throughout these years. And we've come to an age now where we're just ready to let go and to give it everything that we've got. So it's a really exciting opportunity for us to ask you to support us and to give us the chance to, to make the best of what we've got. I've never been to a Fringe Festival before, so it'll be a first for me. I'm very, very excited. Um, putting on a show for 40 minutes of two boys who Men. Don't, <coughs> don't really know what they're doing. We're not dancers, but we love it. But we could potentially be booed off. No one could like us. Um, but that's exciting. That's fun. Um, and we're both looking forward to it. So I'm working with Rutt, and it's my first show that I'm directing for Kindling. With specifically, I've picked two young people that I've seen massive potential in, and I really want to make something amazing with them. Um, we're going to make a very physical piece of theatre. I've spent the last three and a half years working as assistant director at Get Back Theatre, um, and having just made The Overcoat and their new show Missing, um, I'm kind of keen to pass on some of the knowledge that I have about physical storytelling to young young practitioners. Um, so I've got Phil and Michael who have no idea what they're really in for with the festival. 
and I'm really, really excited about seeing how they can be surprising and hopefully challenging for some more established theatre makers. And if we fail, we fail together and we'll do our best to make sure that the audiences of the Bedlam get the best 45 minutes that we can possibly, possibly make. Um, I'm just really excited about it and I think that the festival is the absolutely number one place in the world to take shows that are a little bit risky and a little bit uncertain and it's a great place for young theatre makers to learn their trade.